Yeah, Noel was definitely one that I, I wanted to bring back for, for the second round. We, we spent a lot of time off camera that day and also after the date. And we just got to, I got to know her a little bit better and kind of she opened up a little bit more instead of like being in the camera and everybody kind of changes a little bit, which is okay. I mean, that's what, what's expected to happen. Um, since the first date, every once in a while, we would text back and forth. Um, we haven't talked on the phone or anything like that except when he called to ask me out on the second date. But yeah, just every once in a while texting each other. I was gonna cook and you were late. And you were late. So you're late and you didn't even plan the date. Maybe you should film. I was gonna cook for you today. And me and Devin will hang out. Okay, okay. Right, who wants to hang out with me, love? Come on now. Nobody. <laughs> no. So, for the date tonight, we met at a park, which I'm not sure the exact name. It was like Central Plaza something. <laughs> and it was quite possibly the strangest park I've ever seen, but a good strange. Um, a lot of different things going on. It's a big, like, bubble dome and um, like some pond areas and a basketball um, court and so um, we had like a picnic style lunch at the park and then we played a game a church game LDSopoly which um, if you think it's like Monopoly it totally is <laughs> So we played that for a while and then um, after that we just kind of like walked around the park and hung out and goofed off and stuff and talked. It was really, really good. Mormon Novelty Company. It was pretty good. It's a good game. It was fun. Okay. It's like a Mormon t twist on uh, Monopoly. So it was a good time. So what we did the rest of the date, we, we decided to just kind of go walk around the park. It was a really interesting park. It's like something out of a Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Seuss novel. It's just like whimsical and just kind of goofy all the way around. They had little hobbit holes that she made me crawl through, a little teeter-totter. It was, it, was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We kind of just walked around and just kind of enjoyed each other's company a little bit. Tunnel! Into the tunnel. I stay up late to hear what you say what's on. Your mind as I hear you before you're gone. I know that I will wonder why I got you here to be in my life. I hear your voice, I hear you wrong. You're much better as you and not a nun. Don't worry cause you're as good as gold I'm so glad that with you I grow old and The feeling I, overall that I got in this second date is that she was a little bit more guarded with the cameras kind of up in her face a little bit more which you know it comes to be expected I mean I've been on I swear, my second date, I was guaranteed I was super awkward with the cameras right in my face. This is only your second date in front of the camera, so I can't really expect her to be anything but guarded because that's kind of how I was as well with the second time I was in front of the camera. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit, I wanted to see a little bit more of the person that I saw off camera last time, like after the date was done. and. You know, it was unfortunate that that wasn't able to happen, but we, yeah, we did have some time off camera, which she, her guard came down when that happened. What, and what else? Yeah, I think I prefer um, not having super formal dates. Like I would rather just like hang out and really get to know someone. And you know, even you can do activities that aren't super formal, you know, and still really get to know someone and have a lot of fun in the process. And I tend to like those type of dates more than like the super formal, like, oh, let's go out to dinner and have it be a really nice dinner. You know, I, it, honestly, it doesn't even really matter what you, where you're going, whether it's like fast food or a super nice restaurant, you know? Okay. I'm not Mr. Forward. Um, to me, I like to develop the emotional and the personality side of it before you dive into the physical but I you know I have kind of I everybody's kissed on the first date here and there even if they say they have you know I don't kiss on the first date that's BS I mean everybody on the face of the planet I'm calling everybody out right now you've kissed somebody on the first date you really have and don't worry I'm right there with you 
Uh, I don't usually kiss girls on a first date or even sometimes on a second date. I just kind of, when, it, when it's right, it's right. And you know when it's right. And I think both of you can feel when it's right. And if you force it too soon, things get awkward. Things get really, really awkward. I mean, love takes time and love takes a lot of effort. And it's just weird. It, it's a weird situation and it's a lot of weird different variables kind of thrown into this one mess of an equation that we have here. So, I mean, I'm not a, like, I, I think it could happen. I still think it could happen and I'm willing to have it happen. It's just about if it happens or not in the time frame of the Mormon Bachelor. I mean, this is only like three or four days that we're actually going on. Um, so for the next round of dating, um, I'm really not sure one way or the other. I mean, like, like I said, I don't like to super like put all this emphasis on like, oh my gosh, this is going to happen. And I know, you know, the end result because you don't, you never know what's going to happen. And so, um, you kind of just got to take it one day at a time and see what happens. And whatever happens, happens. Even though it was a little bit awkward today and she was a little bit guarded today, I love being around her. She's sassy, she's spunky, and I, I, you know, I really do enjoy my time around her. And did you feel... So, even if it doesn't work out with Chris and I, I'm definitely glad I, I did this and had this experience. Um, and I definitely see us being friends even if it doesn't work out. I mean, I know that I would still want to be friends with him. Um, so, yeah, you know, if anything, I've gained a friendship or actually more than one friendship from this. So, that's always good.